run these television yeah, networks. Today my appeal, my appeal to all those who control these big media houses, it's time, it's time for you to take a step back. Business models be damned. Anyways, the plight of the media is, as everyone is seeing, people are losing their jobs, salaries are being reduced. The story of the media is no different from any other sector, folks. To those of you who think that by indulging in this kind of theatrics, you will make a lot of money, or you will end up getting a big name for yourselves, you're living in a fool's paradise. It does not take place. Ultimately, the sufferer is you. You, the journalist, if you're a journalist, and you, the viewer, if you continue to consume this kind of trash. This is nothing else but mere plain trash. And this trash, unfortunately, because it gets legitimacy, maybe it has played a role in the death of a human life, in the death of a human being. Shreya Krishnan is with us tonight and Karan is there too. He's a well-known author and Nawal Madan is a happiness coach and a leading YouTuber. In this section, in our people's centimeter, in our people meter, I just want to hear from you, the viewer. So let me begin with you, Shreya. You tell me, Shreya, what do you... What do you make out of what happened last night and what's been buzzing over these last 24 hours? You really think that one person, Rajiv Tyagi, actually ended up dying because he was a part of this acrimonious television debate or was this a pure coincidence that you're looking at? Uh, no, but I do that there are multiple things why I need to get stressed and there are things that I have to stress and mental health has been spoken about so often and so frequently and, know, and on national television speak in the way the conversation happened yesterday, it's bound to add to those stressors. Uh, so maybe it's not just a coincidence and maybe there is merit in saying that mutual respect and conversation and debate needs to take a step back and look at where it's reached on national television today. Because these are people who are in power, these are people who are influencers and having conversations with them needs to be more evolved. This kind of behavior is unpardonable and will continue to cause uh, such situations and issues if we continue on the same road and path that we are on. You did speak about Doodarshan. Let me remind you all that we all grew up watching national television on Doodarshan and there would be debates. And all debates rested on the basic fact that mutual respect was given to the people who were on the platform. And that's missing today. Not just on social media, but sadly even Why is in public. Taran, 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 Taran is, is disrespecting a person is disrespecting a, a, a viewer or a guest on a television program. Is it the best way, Karan, to, to gain more traction? Do, do people enjoy when someone is insulted on a nightly basis? Healthy culture, but uh, you know, this kind of stuff, you know, uh, should be basically toned down. And, uh, you know, these aggressive and accusations which are being leveled on them, that's not right. So, you know, it should be, they should be, make it more about polarity and, you know, and less about reason debate. That's actually what's happening. And it's very high-pitched and people are forced to consume this kind of, uh, you know, uh, debate. Which is, you know, you can't really, you know, justify that. And just, I think it's mainly for TRPs. You know, but it's not actually the, it's you know, mainly the for TR, but, but, but where is it leading us? Oh, well, we, uh, well, I mean, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a 